Hi, my name is Massimiliano Gori, and I'm a security product manager at Canonico. Azure AD Authentication is one of the key features they were releasing as part of Ubuntu Desktop 2304. Part of this video, we will go over the prerequisites to get you started with the project, how to complete the setup on Azure, how to complete the setup on the desktop, and finally, we will show you how the user authentication looks like on the desktop in a GDM session. But why did we decide to work on this feature? Azure AD is one of the most requested enterprise features from both our enterprise users and customers. Because of the increased demand for remote working and the general shift to the cloud and Microsoft 365, more and more companies have moved their endpoint management plane to the cloud. Azure AD Authentication comes for free as part of Ubuntu Desktop 23.04. But our intention is to backport it to all the supported LTS version of Ubuntu once we receive enough feedback from our users and customers. In order to use this feature, we need a Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 plan, or otherwise an Azure Active Directory P1 or P2 plan. Now let's have a look at the demo. If you want to learn more about the packages and all the steps that I'm going to do as part of this video, you can always refer to the AAD of repository on GitHub, which will be linked in the description on the video below. Now, moving on to Azure, we want to go to Azure Active Directory, and we want to register an app with a service principle. In our case, we've already created a canonical login, which we are going to use for the purpose of this demo. We're going to include a link to the Microsoft documentation in the video description so that you can easily perform this step. Now, let's open a terminal and install the required packages. What this did is fundamentally an update to the nsswitch.conf to add the AAD service for the database password, group, and shadow, and also the pmd common off file. One of the features that we've enabled as part of our work is the ability to uh, have a new home directory created for all the uh, Azure Active Directory users that authenticate to the machine. And in order to do that, we want to run this command, dash dash info. Now is to edit the configuration file that was created in the previous step. Now, as you can see, the ad.com file uh, was created as part of the previous step. What we need to do is uncomment these two uh, first two lines and then replace the X or the Y's with the tenant ID or application ID that we have created in the previous step. Before we do that, let's have a look at some of the uh, optional values that are provided uh, as part of the script. Just like in the case of uh, Windows Desktop, we uh, cache uh, credentials for 90 days. Uh, this, can, this value can be made um, smaller or larger depending on your security policies. We, uh, as I said before, uh, we also have the opportunity to create a new home directory and you can, uh, by editing this value, you can actually edit the, uh, the path uh, that will be created at login, just like editing the, uh, the default shell. We also offer the opportunity to uh, override some of the default values for specific, uh, for specific domain or more complex Azure Active Directory um, configuration. Now, let's go back to Azure and let's copy the tenant ID and app ID. Let's save the file. And now let's reboot the machine. Now that we have rebooted our machine, let's authenticate with our Active Directory user. This is my local user. We want to go instead to not listed. Put our Azure AD username, our Azure AD password. And now we are let into the machine. Let's skip all of this. So as you can see, we are logged in with our Active Directory user. And you can see that the new home directory has been created uh, for the new user. 
Thanks a lot for watching the video and I encourage you to try the new functionalities and please let us know if you have any feedback.